our people at top rank are meeting with uh, uh, with uh, their people uh, uh, this week, probably Friday. Javonta Davis and Lomachenko met face to face as they put pen on paper to finally seal their fight. Tank Davis called. As Bob Arum had said, the fight is set to hold later this year. Like Anthony Joshua and Daniel Dubois did earlier this week, Dravonta Davis and Vasily Lomachenko finally met face to face to sign their fight contract after many demands have been made for a title unification matchup between the two world champions. I'm open for, for the fight, but you know boxing politics, you know we have different promoters. The two lightweight champions are ready to give boxing fans all they want and it all began with the signing of the contract, making the matchup official and set to happen later this year. My weather said every time he said, hey, we have uh, our way. It was stern, but not as controversial. Considering the fact that Lomachenko isn't one of Javonta Davis's American rivals, the likes of Devin Haney, Shakur Stevenson, and Ryan Garcia. And forget about us. We're making money. So. <laughs> Interestingly, Javonta Davis was the first to make the move regarding this matchup after calling the Ukrainian out after his win over George Camboose. Hey, listen, I know you say you want like pretty much everybody, but specifically, who do you want the most? While Gervonta Davis took aim at Mayweather, insisting his new fight deal had earned him more than the legend's $200 million deal with Showtime in 2013. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah, oh, that's, that's, he has a part that's of deal. He, he don't know about that yet, mm. but that's bigger than his deal. He said to Cigar Talk, I'm at the point where I passed him and I'm doing it at a young age. When Floyd Mayweather was 29, he wasn't doing it like me. You'll see, he added. That six, seven fight deal that I was talking about, that's bigger than Mayweather's six fight deal that Floyd had with Showtime in 2013, and I'm just releasing it here. Damn. Wow. And y'all just, and I'm just releasing it. It's exclusive, it that's yeah. exclusive. Bigger than Floyd deal? Yeah. And it's looking like Davis wants to fix all the matches right away, as he was quick to jump onto Vasil Lomachenko after his knockout win over Cambosos. Gervonta Davis, even before his fight against Gervonta Tank Davis, had booked a fighter down for the one after that, and it's Vasily Lomachenko. The Ukrainian lightweight legend was dominant as he finally made his return a year on from his defeat to Devin Haney. Let me get Frank first. Then Tank followed up by saying, Lomachenko has often been criticized for starting slow, but against Cambosos, he got off to a quick start before his 11th round finish. The 36-year-old let his hands go early with several fast flurries that snapped back Cambosos' head as he advanced. The Australian home favorite gave a valiant effort, but was ultimately overmatched. In round 11, a brutal body shot floored him and Lomachenko quickly secured the finish by downing Cambosos once again. Loma then became the International Boxing Federation lightweight world champion and a four-time champ across three weight divisions. Davis holds the World Boxing Association crown and is seemingly looking to unify in the coming months. A boxing fan posted on social media during the fight, Gervonta Davis would never fight Vasil Lomachenko, to which Davis replied publicly, He's after Frank, let me get Frank first. The Frank he is referring to is of course Frank Martin, his opponent on June 15th. This vow from Davis has excited many boxing fans, but infuriated Shakur Stevenson, who has himself been calling for a fight with Tank, but been denied by the fact they are represented by different promoters slash advisors. As Lomachenko has also spent his career with the same promoter as him, Stevenson replied to Davis by saying, he's on the other side though. Davis responded by suggesting Loma is actually now a free agent. In the end though, Stevenson tweeted, they are trying to freeze me out. Damn all them Floyd Mayweather told me about all these guys. And the Ukrainian fighter didn't bulge either. Mike, your response to that? One more time, please. <laughs> Tonight, Davis. After the new International Boxing Federation champion managed to outclass his opponent and emerge victorious via an 11th round stoppage, he responded to Davis's call. In his post-fight speech, Lomachenko was questioned about his thoughts on the call-out. 
The Ukrainian indicated Davis's well-documented history of alleged avoidance of certain fights on X, formerly Twitter. I never ran around and I always got into fights, said Vasily Lomachenko. However, the fighter dismissed the immediate possibility of the fight and expressed a desire to spend time with his family before stepping into the ring. Tank Davis. Tank Davis called. Called that line on social media. Meanwhile, a lightweight clash between Gervonta Davis and Vasily Lomachenko is predicted to be a fight for the ages. Both fighters who are considered to be tactical geniuses in the ring are ready to throw down and put on a show for the fans. And while they signed their contract, they had their face off. Might be made the negotiations. Is it legitimate? Is it, is, is it going forward? Well, we know that. A potential lightweight clash between the two titans is right around the corner. Gervonta Davis and Vasily Lomachenko are currently in talks for the said bout. Top-ranked promoter Bob Arum revealed it would take place sometime in November. After beating Frank Martin, Gervonta Davis is expected to face the Ukrainian lightweight contender. A fight between the two has been brewing for a long time as fans yearn for a potential fight. Both fighters want the fight. Bob Arum hints at possible date for Gervonta Davis versus Vasily Lomachenko. Gervonta Davis recently put on a masterclass against Frank Martin. As expected, Tank viciously knocked out the ghost in the eighth round. This highlight victory has fans talking about his next fight. The potential fight against Shakur Stevenson is a fight that has been brewing for a long time. Both contenders share a long-standing rivalry that fans want to witness in the ring. Another possible bout is the rematch against Ryan Garcia. So when that happens, then the suits sit down and try to work out the economic terms and... However, the focal point of the discourse is a fight against Vasily Lomachenko. In an interview with Boxing News, top-ranked promoter Bob Arum hinted at a possible date for the aforementioned fight. Aram acknowledges the draw that Gervonta Davis versus Vasil Lomachenko possesses. The top-ranked promoter called Stevenson's last fight not entertaining, despite Shakur grabbing the victory. And try to work out the economic terms and put it together. And I'm optimistic that... The 92-year-old promoter claimed the previous conversations with PBC to be a step ahead for Davis versus Lomachenko. He then went on to reveal a possible date for the fight to take place. Hopefully we'll put it together expeditiously for sometime in November, said Bob Arum. The veteran promoter named November as the month for a possible showdown between Gervonta Davis and Vasily Lomachenko. And I'm optimistic that uh, they'll do that and that the fight will happen. Arum does not rule out the possibility of a potential matchup for Tank against Stevenson, claiming Shakur to be a terrific fighter, the top-ranked promoter looks for a possible opportunity for Davis to step in to fight the 26-year-old. Gervonta Davis is known to be one of the hardest hitters in the division. Tank holds a record of 30 wins, 28 of those coming by way of knockout. Fans love to witness the American contender turn the lights out for every opponent he faces. But until it's signed, you don't know. You know, I know networks, you know, you got ESPN obligations. Former rival Ryan Garcia had an interesting choice of words regarding Davis's power. King reclaimed Gervonta possessed no power in the ring. He revealed Tank's strength to be accuracy rather than his brute force. Upon hearing this, Davis did not stay silent. In an interview with ES News, the lightweight contender clapped back, claiming he wanted a rematch against Ryan Garcia. He also expressed his desire to fight him in the 140-pound weight division. The networks are cooperative. Mm -hmm. they, you know, you can't blame the networks if the fight isn't made. Mm -hmm. it's, it's just people. Beat his head, said Gervonta Davis. Although Garcia picked Tank to knock out Frank Martin, he completely focused on Ryan's comments regarding his power. A rematch between Gervonta Davis and Ryan Garcia has piqued fans' interest. Both contenders have agreed to the fight on multiple occasions. Judging by top-ranked promoter Bob Arum's recent comments, it appears that the fight is right around the corner. I, th I think that uh, the negotiations will go very well. Bob Arum again took some time to talk to Fight Hype about the prospects of finally securing a fight between Gervonta Tank Davis and Vasily Lomachenko. As Aram explains, while there was a time in the past that the fight was being discussed and may have perhaps been of bigger significance, he says there's no point in dwelling on that now and that he doesn't expect there to be much difficulty in making that fight now. Between the sides, 
When, um, when originally, back in the day, when Tank and Lomachenko... Aram, on the likelihood of successfully negotiating a Tank versus Lomachenko fight, we know that both fighters want the fight. So when that happens, the suits sit down and try to work out the economic terms and try to put it together. And I'm optimistic that they'll do that and that the fight will happen. But until it's signed, you don't know. ...was uh, being talked about. Floyd went in and said that he wanted to make the fight back then. Do you feel like at this moment of time, it's the best time? He was also asked about the different networks that would need to be involved in making that fight. He said, don't worry, the networks are cooperative. You can't blame the networks if the fight isn't made. It's the people who are involved with the fighters who are not being realistic. But I don't think that to be the case. I think the negotiations will go very well between the sides. Some fight fans are conflicting on, you know, performances, age, things like that. Or do you feel like this is the highest market value for both? Well, I don't know if it's highest or not, but it's... Bob Arum was also asked if a Tank versus Lomachenko fight is at its peak commercial value. He then responded, I don't know if it's the best or not, but this is the time that it can be made, and they're both coming off big victories, so it's all good. At a particular other time, would the fight have meant more? I don't know. Maybe. But you can't look back at that. We're at this time now in the career of both guys, and it's a very interesting, intriguing fight. They're both coming off big victories, uh, so it's all good. Uh, at a particular other time, would the fight have meant more? With a lightweight unification bout between Gervonta Davis and Vasily Lomachenko seemingly edging closer, former two-weight world champion Tim Bradley has given his verdict on the contest. Both men are coming off impressive performances. Tank defended his World Boxing Association belt by knocking out Frank Martin with a devastating uppercut left hook combination earlier this month. Uh, so we can do that fight before the end of the year. I know Tank wants that fight. Before that, Loma became the first man to stop George Cambosos Jr. and captured the International Boxing Federation world title in the process. In a recent interview, boxing promoter Bob Arum told Boxing Scene that he's interested in making a Vasily Lomachenko versus Gervonta Davis bout happen. We're up for that fight. Lomachenko's up for that. When we sit down, we will see if it's feasible but Lomachenko would like to do that fight. And Loma wants that fight, so now it's a question of agreeing on terms. You, you say that you know Loma wants the fight, Bob. Continuing, Aram revealed, Carl Moretti has been talking to Louis DeCubis for a couple of weeks now. Hopefully, we'll put it together for sometime in November. Nobody is dragging anybody to the table. Both sides know it's a big fight, which means they're looking forward to earning a lot of money, and they're both competitive guys. I'm optimistic that the negotiations will go well. You can never guarantee that, but PBC are professionals and my guys are professionals and they'll work it out. Concluding, Aram shared another boxing update. Davis and Lomachenko is a bigger fight than Davis and Shakur. That has nothing to do with Stevenson potentially leaving top rank next month after the final fight on his contract. Shakur will be a free agent after his July 6th fight. After this, we'll have to know what his plans are before we make any commitments to him because we may not be his promoter. If he does resign, we have some really interesting fights for him. But I'm not going to go into that because right now he's a free agent after July 6th. He's been a great fighter for us. We've enjoyed promoting him and we'll see what happens down the line. Times you really sat down and watched a full yeah. fight of his. What'd you think? I thought he's a very competent fighter and he's clearly very powerful. Maybe the hardest puncher I've seen in the lightweight division in a long time, maybe since Duran. Speaking to Fight Hub TV about the potential matchup, Bradley believes the Ukrainian is being overlooked due to being 36 years old. You all need to put some respect on Loma's name, man. Yeah, they waited for Loma to get to this age. That's a fact. Can I have a great man, fight? Y'all gotta put some respect on Loma's name, yeah. man. I a lot of people are saying like, oh, they waited for him to get to this age. I personally don't think that Loma is over the hill. The performance that he had last time out and they say, oh, it's only Cambosos, he could have made it rough for himself. Cambosos could have made it rough for him, but he went about his business and that's the difference. Loma, still at this age, is a bad man and he deserves respect. Tank is going to have to knock him out. He's going to have to. He'll have to catch him and knock him out. Bradley believes Lomachenko will be Tank's toughest test to date, and whilst most pundits are favoring Davis to get his hand raised, the Hall of Fame inductee believes it's a 50 by 50 fight. Loma still seeking that this age is a bad man, and he, he deserves respect. And you know, you're gonna have the recency bias and everybody will say, oh, Tank's gonna knock him out, 
Loma will not run. He'll be in and out of reach. He'll play with the distance. Loma brings something that Tank has never seen before. Loma will be the hardest fighter that Tank has ever fought, even with the age. I think Tank is the right guy for Loma. Tank reacts to feints and Loma is a feint master. Tank has to hurt him and knock him out in order to win the fight. I can see Loma getting ahead on the scorecards and Davis having to play catch up on the back end. Hell no would I count Loma out, I say it's a 50 by 50. Most say it's 60 by 40 Tank versus Loma, but I'm saying 50 by 50. Loma can get ahead. He can get ahead on the scorecards. He's a bit of a slow starter himself. He is. He's a bit of a slow starter himself. So it'd be funny to see the game plan of, of Tank and what he would do. Any fan who saw how Lomachenko completely dominated Kambosos in their meeting last month would give the Ukrainian a chance. After years being in each other's orbit without facing off in the ring, Vasily Lomachenko and George Kambosos met in Perth, Australia with the vacant International Boxing Federation lightweight title on the line. After dominating the fight with pure boxing technique, Lomachenko dropped Kambosos twice with body shots before scoring a technical knockout in round 11. Down in the 11th. As if the damn The gulf in technique between the two was clear from the opening moments of the fight, with Kambosos chasing but never catching Lomachenko. The Ukrainian struck early and often with clean combinations and heavy left hands. Even in his best rounds, Kambosos couldn't land 10 or more punches, with Lomachenko easily controlling the distance and determining the moments in which they would engage offensively. When those moments came, Lomachenko would throw a slick combination, cut an angle, and slide out of range without taking a return first. As the fight hit the second half, Lomachenko began to focus more of his attack toward the body. Lomachenko's a champion again! Knockout victory! against the Aussie down under. That paid off in round 11 with a cracking left to the liver, resulting in Cambosos taking a few steps backward before taking a knee. Cambosos beat the referee's count, but the following Lomachenko blitz, including two more body shots, forced him to the ground again, at which point Cambosos' corner threw in the towel. I feel great, I'm happy because I'm a world champion again. It was my goal, it was my motivation, and the stoppage came at the 249 mark of round 11. My plan was to adjust to my opponent, Lomachenko said after the fight. This is what I did in the fight. Toward the end of the rounds, I needed to finish strong. In the last three rounds, I was trying to find his body. Kambosos had nothing but respect for Lomachenko after the loss, touting his own refusal to look for easy fights. Now I am a champion again. I'm very happy. I want to say thank you to my promoter, Top Rank. He's one of the best fighters in history, Camboso said. I'm not ashamed. I wanted to finish the fight on the feet. I really did. The match gave Lomachenko a quick recovery from the emotional damage he faced when he lost his world title in a controversial fight against Devin Haney. During the post-fight press conference of the Lomachenko versus Haney fight, Lomachenko said he was well prepared going into the Cambosos fight. I expected a little bit more, but everything he did, we were prepared for. And I saw it during the fight, and I needed to adjust during the fight, round by round. And I felt during the fight I could finish him. Winning by stoppage was not a goal, but this was a world championship, and we needed to finish strong. This is what I did. We prepared very seriously for this fight. And like I said before, styles make fights. This is what happens. We have two different styles. Today, my style was better. It's a tough loss for Cambosos, who had been trying to shake off the one-hit wonder label some fans and experts have used on him. As for Lomachenko, the IBF lightweight title win potentially sets him up for another massive fight at 135 pounds. Before seeing how the judges had scored proceedings, the feeling among spectators was that it was close, maybe 115, 113 either way, or a draw. An admittedly pro-Lomachenko crowd voiced its displeasure at the result. The reaction was in line with how many watching at home saw the fight. 112, 115, 113 was two times. Bernardo. Haney, who was the pre-fight favorite, isn't to blame. He didn't score the fight. He just did what he does best. He fought his fight. And during the post-fight press conference for Devin Haney versus Vasily Lomachenko, both fighters appeared and spoke to the media about their thoughts on the fight and the decision. Lomachenko, for his part, emphasized the fact that he believed he should have won that fight. When asked about how he felt the fight played out in the ring, Lomachenko responded, 
Look, during all the fights, I controlled the fight and all the fights I understood I won. So for me, of course, the decision was a big surprise. And then when 12 rounds ended, I was sure I won this fight. But it is what it is. We all love boxing. We all respect boxing. Sometimes it happens. My father always taught me during life, you need to win without question. But today maybe was not clarified. Today was maybe not a big domination from my side. But I understand that because Haney was not a new guy in boxing, he's a good opponent. And you don't need to forget, he is bigger than me. Sadly, Lomachenko teared up after the fight. And when asked about cameras catching him crying in the locker room after the fight, he replied, I just remember my son today called me seven times and every time told me hey and the new and the new and in this moment then i remembered this moment it was very hard for me it's just it's not a comfortable moment for me and uh, thank you for all people who come lomachenko was also queried as to how many rounds he believed he beat devin haney by and his response was quite indecisive but he held his conclusion firmly that he wasn't the loser of the fight I don't know, I can't tell you right now because now it will not be serious from my side because I need to sit down, focus on the fight, see the fight, and after that I can answer. But 100%, I don't lose this fight. Chuckles, he said. What, how good is Devin Haney? You've been in against the best. How good is Devin Haney? Everything, everything was in the, in the rules. Everything was good. Vasily Lomachenko was also asked as to whether he rated Haney in comparison with other fighters he's faced. He said, I want to see Jermaine Ortiz fight with Haney. It will be very interesting. But if you're talking about Linares, if you're talking about Lopez, for me, they are better than Haney. And that's all for now. For the very best updates on news, moments, events, and actions in the world of boxing, stay connected with us by subscribing to our YouTube channel. And don't forget to turn on notifications to get notified when we drop quality contents like this. Until next time, peace out.